Hi everyone, we're back here at my channel, The Randomist, my humble little channel where I review and make delicious recipes out of what I have with new cool cooking gadgets that I recently got. So, today, I am using the T-Fall ActiCook and Stir. I've already made a previous video about this where I used baby potatoes and pesto sauce which turned out pretty well so go check that out if you want to see the recipe for that so if it's your first time this machine is a little bit different compared to other multi cookers because it's got a built-in stirring paddle um, it fits up to 10 cups uh, space wise 18 cooking modes uh, has an auto rinse function thanks to the stirring pad and a lot of cool things you can do with it so here is the stirring paddle this mechanism over here helps it turn so as you can see when I spin it it stirs so what this is supposed to do it's supposed to be more efficient you can just leave your food I know the whole idea of a multi cooker is that you can leave your food and it's gonna cook it's gonna be ready it's not gonna overdo your food but here it's even better you don't have to come back to your food to make sure that it's getting stirred and it's not burning here the stirring is done automatically all right now that I gone through the theory today I will be making chicken and beef with baby potatoes so t usually I would use one type of meat, chicken, beef, pork, it doesn't matter, but I ended up having both and I thought it'd be a good idea to use both. So uh, the baby potatoes, if you saw my previous video, you know I really love these. All you need for this recipe is obviously the chicken, the beef, the potatoes, any spices you really like. So I'm going to be using crushed carrots, onions, garlic, and some pepper. Uh, some beef broth or chicken broth depends on what you like some sunflower oil and some salt with s some crushed tomatoes I'm gonna crush these later so to begin with what we want is our sunflower oil we're just gonna open this and when you're cooking you actually want the paddle inside already because then you won't be able to put it in before so you're gonna need a lot well relatively a lot of sunflower oil so just about a bit more there we go that should be fine so once that's good all we're adding is our meat I'll do this off camera because I need both hands for this all right, so the meat is inside both types, the chicken and beef. As you can see, I emptied it out. We're not going to put the potatoes right away because we want it to cook. So all we're putting right now is the sunflower oil and the meat because we want this to get ready before everything else because we want it having an extra crisp. So next, we have this very nice menu with a digital screen. We click the power button. And from here we click menu. I'm not going to be using manual mode because I have the perfect cooking mode for this that I need. I'm going to be using the uh, saute and I'm putting it on the meat icon. So we're just going to click menu. And it presets on baking. So for us to put it on meat, we're going to keep on clicking menu. Or never mind. To keep on clicking menu, you set it to the saute option. And then you keep on, and then you click these arrows to choose the um, meal type. So we're doing meat, and I'm pretty okay with the preset time it's giving me over here. So I'm just gonna let it start. As you can see, the stirring is on, so I can turn it off or I can turn it on. I'm gonna leave it on. It stirs automatically, and it has its own way of timing it. So I'm gonna trust it with that. And then we just click start. So you can hear it working. In my previous video, I did say that it was a bit noisy, but I think that was because of the potatoes. They were hard to move around in the bowl, but I'm gonna give it a try today and I'll tell you guys what I think. So I also mentioned in the previous video that the bowl fits a lot more than you think. 
it's a spherical bowl, so not your traditional, um, not your traditional multi-cooker bowl. So as you can see here, it's spherical. Um, yeah, it it it's pretty spatial. Like there's a lot that can fit in it. If I show you right now, this is all my meat, and it looks basically empty. So that's that. So I will get back to you guys sometime soon while I'll, when I'll start adding the spices. Okay guys, so it's been 20 minutes. The meat is now ready. I am going to proceed. Here you go. Oh, it's a little steamy. There you go. It was, it's been stirring the whole time. Um, just an update on before. It was a bit noisy this time too. Um... But it's not something that you should worry about because if you think about it, this little bit of noise, it's not even that it's loud, but this little bit of noise will um, help you with the stirring part, right? So it kind of pays off. So I'm going to add all of these spices and the uh, tomato sauce and the beef broth, broth and the potatoes will wait. I'm gonna set this for five more minutes and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so the food has been on standby for four minutes. I've added all the spices, it might be a little bit hard to see. And during the, like a minute ago, I decided to add some chipotle salt. I like my food spicy. I haven't used it yet, um, so I'm gonna try it in this recipe. I like. I like spicy things, so hopefully that works out. Now for the tomato sauce, we're just gonna pour it in. Uh, it's hard to do with one hand. It doesn't matter how you pour it because again, it's gonna stir. So as I said, I did dice up the t or um, mush up the tomatoes. So now it's more of a paste than anything else. Now that that's done, you want to give it about five to six minutes to cook. So it's going to be the same mode. We're going to close it, turn it on, and then we go menu. So we want the saute option and the steak. But this time we're doing something different. We click on this button right here, which gives us the time. So it's on time right now, and I'm gonna put five minutes. Five minutes, and then temperature, we want it the same temperature. So now that it's all set, we can start it. So again, you just click the power button again. Boom. So there, you can hear it. It is making some sounds. Um, it sounds as if it's stirring against its will and that it might break or snap but that's not the case so I don't know what's going on with that yeah did you hear that that was it, it, it it's weird so in about five minutes I'm gonna add the potatoes and the broth all right so the five minutes are up let's take a look at what we have Ooh, that's actually really beautiful I'm um, getting really excited because I'm hungry and this video is taking a lot of my time to record So dropping a like would be helpful Next I'm going to be adding the potatoes and the chicken broth or oh sorry beef broth So I'll do this off camera because again, I need both hands and I don't want to make a mess So finally all the ingredients are in I decided to add a bit more salt as you can see right there um, now we're gonna set it for 40 minutes to cook on the soup mode can't wait to eat this not gonna lie it looks really good this stirring option is really saving me right now because I can do other things around the house while this is cooking so again shut or sorry first we click start or menu so this would be manual mode I haven't explored how to use it yet if you guys want me to leave a comment I probably will at some point soon so we click menu and we want actually we want soup so see it's giving you all these options down here 
we want soup. So this right here, and then putting it on the meat. And it says one hour, but because I've been cooking the meat before, I'm gonna change that to 40 minutes. And there you go, everything is preset, and we just started. Okay, so finally, the food is cooking. Soon I will be eating, and you guys will see the end result. I just want to talk about the ingredients I used. This is almost completely made up on the go because it's whatever you prefer. Before I said chicken broth because I usually do use chicken broth, but beef broth is what I had on hand, so that's what I used. You can use anything. You don't have to use tomatoes. You can ch change the potatoes with beans. You can change anything up. You can use pork instead of chicken. You can use chicken instead of beef. You don't need, to, or you can use all three. It doesn't matter. You can make this completely vegetarian. It's very like it's based on preference. I like spicy, so I added a lot of spicy. I even added a bit more off camera. Um, so yeah, spices is really on you guys. Whatever you guys prefer. All right, so 35 minutes to go, or 39 minutes to go. I'll get back to you a few minutes before, or maybe even when it's done, and I'll show you guys the end result. Okay, guys, so I just checked on it. There's 14 minutes left, but I think that I can pull it out now. It seems ready. I pulled out a potato. I tried it. Uh, it seems cooked, so I'm just going to take it out on this plate off camera. Uh... See, as I mentioned before, you can hear it stirring, and it's pretty noisy. At this point, it's not bothering me as much as it's concerning me, because it sounds like it's struggling, but it's working, so I don't know what to tell you guys. Okay, and here we go, the end result, what we've been waiting for. So here, I managed to pull out mostly beef, but there's chicken too. The potatoes are super soft. It turned out great. Hopefully, it's spicy just the way I like it. So, in the end, I'm very happy with the result. It turned out really well. I suggest you guys try a recipe similar to this. Let me know what you want me to make in this multi-cooker. Because chances are I will make it at some point. But if you tell me, I might make it sooner. So, just let me know what you want to see. Um... Maybe I'll make a video about specs, but I'm not sure about that yet. So, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. And thank you for watching. I'm gonna go eat this, and I'm not gonna share. But don't tell my family. Thanks for watching, guys.